A classic chemistry prank is to take gallium metal and make a spoon so that when someone uses the spoon, it actually melts in their beverage, in their coffee or tea. So in my hand, I have liquid gallium, and it turns to a liquid at the temperature of your body. In that way, it's a lot like mercury. So we pour it in a clay mold that I made, and we'll wait, let it cool down, and then we'll have our spoon. Now that the liquid gallium, it's cooled down to room temperature and it's solidified, we can take it out of the mold and you can see it's a pretty solid spoon. Now when we take it and we put it in a beaker of hot water like you'd have with tea and we stir it around, watch what happens. If we had a normal shaped spoon that would be much thinner, the gallium would turn into a liquid much, much quicker. But what happens if someone actually drinks their tea and ingests the gallium? Thermo Fisher Scientific, on their safety data sheet, they basically say, if swallowed, call a poison center or a doctor if you feel unwell. So it's unlikely that someone would be harmed by gallium. My guess is it probably wouldn't taste very good either. And then there's the fact that the gallium cost me $30, so I'd rather not have someone eat it. Since it's a metal, the gallium would fall to the bottom of the cup as well, and it's unlikely that they would drink that, especially after their spoon dissolved. You can get gallium online, 50 grams for about $30, and you can even buy kits to help you mold a legitimate looking spoon, unlike mine. Links in the description if you're interested. So that's liquid gallium and the classic melting spoon prank. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.